So does he say the N word or what? What's going on? I mean, I think we all know. Like, we all want to know that that's. I know I want to know. All right, here we go. We have Nuka Zeus on Vlad TV. And oh, this is like Rachel Dolezal, but male version. And uh, definitely one of our more interesting guests. And, you know, before we get into your whole story, you're essentially a Caucasian man who at one point started to inject himself with a chemical that put melanin in your skin that would make you dark when you started going out in the sun. Yes and no. It's not technically melanin. Like People always think it's melanin. But it's just a peptide that is basically steroids when it doesn't do anything unless I go into the sun. So the same thing as steroids helps people get muscle faster. The injections help me to get darker faster whenever I get into the sun. It's just tanning, you know, with ultra speed. Got it. Got it. And we'll get into Wait, why? Why is he talking like that? That whole part of the story. But I kind of want to go into Is that also the steroids? Is that a side effect of the steroids? Is What's up? Wait, so started? what happened? What happened to his face? Uh he got skin injections to become black. It's like a steroid that a steroid. So he was saying it's like a steroid. But they look like, like it looks like acne. Work out, it looks like acne muscle. scarring, but is it from injections? I don't know. I think might just have background skin. first. So okay. where exactly did you grow up? Um a couple well, basically two different places. Uh I when I, I was born up in New York. I lived there till I was about 10 and then uh, moved down south in small town areas in the middle of nowhere. Okay. And what nationality are your parents? Technically, I consider them human. Um, but what? Okay, first of all, someone's saying, isn't this black facing? I don't even know what this is at that point. I mean, it's literally black face on steroids, but it's like effort, the effort that he put into. I think the effort he like admires them so much that he's trying to become them. The effort that he put into it, I just like, you know. <laughs> also, you know my take on this stuff, okay? Rachel Dolezal's a queen, okay? It's pretty funny. This person is currently alive specifically for other people's uh, joking uh, and other people's jokes and humor, okay? Uh, I guess you could say other people would consider them Caucasian or, or, okay. or some uh, Italian, Sicilian. Oh! Oh, so he was black already. Never mind. See? Uh, oh, thank God. Okay, we found out. It's cool. It's cool. He was POC already. Yeah. Okay. And you have a, a sister as well? Yes. Uh, okay. So uh, okay. <laughs> you're growing up sort of all over the place. Um, you went to the Art Institute for a year? Uh, I went I went there for uh, a couple of years, I think. I went to multiple colleges. Okay. And you didn't Dude, graduate? They love though? Italian hands. No. It... Uh, wasn't really my path in life that I wanted to take. I tried it out and um, it wasn't for me. Yeah, art art wasn't for me. So I decided to be black. What? He just like gave up on any sort of career and decided to just uh, be a white guy who is black now. He decided this is his thing. <laughs> uh, okay. Now we'll go ahead and show a, a picture of, of what you look like originally uh, with extremely, you know, pale skin and... and you know Extremely oh my bad. god bro he had a ginger beard bro he had a ginger beard that's crazy and he's got the white person hair he's got like super straight hair i don't even think he's italian i think he's like literally irish bro looking yeah he's looking like the furthest from like even on the caucasian scale like even on the white scale he looks whiter than like normal white people he looks like nesua a white guy yeah, he's not even like Southern Italian, dude. Nah, brother, he is 12 generations American. This is wild to me, okay? In every way. I'm looking at his YouTube channel on the other screen, and it's fucking crazy. What else is crazy is it's been 16 minutes, and I haven't run the ad at the top of the hour. A, a Caucasian man. And up until the point where you started injecting yourself, were you into black culture? had a lot of black friends into hip hop or what was the attraction initially? Yeah. I mean, I've always been around black people my whole entire life. Um, my first friends like ever, you know, when I, my parents first sent me to daycare, you know, 
you know they're wait that, he has to dye his beard because his beard is like yeah, like his beard was say, like I mean, ginger he's obviously putting a lot of effort into this look so that that is not surprising at yeah all, you can't right? just change I, I was thinking like he had some sort of yes like maintain this you can't just change your hair color it's pretty funny he's like he saw a black person and was like this is my thing now yeah there's a black guy there he became my best friend you know and, and my parents are be friends with their friend or his friends you know, and it's just like, it seems like I bounced around different schools and it's like every school that I went to, I always gravitated to the black people for some reason. And um, it's just, uh -huh. I just connected more with, I don't, I don't know. And then, then I moved down to the South and then I, I thought everybody was human. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really realize that there was a difference between white and black, but only through hindsight did I realize that I gravitated to black people. But when I moved to the South, I learned from, you know, I mean, yeah, having black friends is like the same as being black. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> people around me that, hey, you're not human. You're either white or you black. So that kind of started the whole thing. And then I, I don't know. We'll get into that later. Um, uh, but to answer your question, um, we're all humans. So I decided to I've change. always felt a little different. And I always felt like I wanted I wanted to have darker skin. My whole family has darker skin than me. And my, my sister used to tease me and um, say I wasn't part of the family, say I was adopted because I was so... Bro, he did not have darker skin. He, he was... He is so fucking... He was so pale. So light-skinned. And um, I, I just wanted to be like all my friends and stuff like that. So in middle school, I started thinking about doing plastic surgery to become... You know, see if I can do the opposite of Michael Jackson. And then I was like, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think like black people should be more worried about this person than like a racist, like out and about racist person. Cause this dude will kill you and wear your face. He's got some real serial killer energy here. Like the, the level of involvement and production that goes into being, trying to be black. I was going to say being black, but he's not. <laughs> it's like, this is way scarier, dude. What? Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to be me. You know what I'm saying? I, I, and, uh. As I progress in Dude, there, please tell me there's more of this. This is part one. Where's part two, bro? Okay. You said at one point you wanted to commit suicide. Yeah, there's, there's, there's been uh, a few times. Okay. Was that before you started injecting yourself or after? Before. Okay. And why did you want to kill yourself? A couple of different times. Um, sometimes it just, you know, I just, I... Wow. Yeah. There you go, chatters. You were all making fun of him, dude. Guess what? Not me, though. I was supportive from the jump. Like if somebody, um, you know, singles me out, you know, and tries to like say that I'm not black, it's like, it just hurts my soul, you know? And it's just like, it just like, it's hard to explain. Like if I'm not black, what, I don't even want to be here. This you know what I mean? Dad. Anyway, let's continue. It's like, I don't know. It just, it, it just hurts when my own people turn their back on me. Okay. And you've been diagnosed with ADHD, right? Yeah. Anything else that you've ever been diagnosed for? Or is that it? I also have a SVT, which makes my heart pump faster and harder than normal. Okay. So when you it feels like the same turf set stuff is said is the same stuff you're saying about this guy though. What about this dude being not black, but like wanting to be black? I mean, there's a difference where transracialism is like a documented, but what is it like racial dysphoria phenomenon, usually for people, I believe that uh, grow up as adopted children, like adopted white children in black households. But beyond that, it's not like a, it's not a thing, especially considering that, you know, you don't really inherit your gender from your parents. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm an adopted child of two lesbian uh, parents, so of course I'm a woman. Like, that's not how it works, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, the, the, uh, the way that you wrap yourself with your gender, gender expression and whatnot is, um, gender expression and whatnot is like subjective. An experience, it's to be experienced, whereas 99 and 100 cases is just transculturalism, Lamau, whereas, you know, is just LARPing. I'm saying this is a trans woman. He's talking about wanting to commit suicide because of his racial dysphoria. Okay. I mean, not like, what do you, what do you mean? So 
Okay, then we should do the same attitude about people that say they're like fucking animals too. Or just anything and everything. You can say that, it doesn't turn it into a valid thing. Going for the fence with the Bella Hadid interview, you mad lad? It didn't work. It did not happen. When you found that that solution, what's it called? Uh, Mela, Melanotan? Uh, Melanotan too. Melanotan. Okay. What? How'd you find out about Melanotan? Um... How did I find out about it? I, I seen pictures on the internet, you know, floating around here and there, and I thought it was fake. And um, one of my friends was was showing me uh, Martina Big, and I was like, that's fake, that ain't real. And they're like, no, that's real. And then I thought about the injections, but I never pursued it. And then about a year later, I was, on a, I, I was thinking about committing suicide. By the way, to be clear, when it comes to stuff like this, I just think it's like funny, you know? Uh, I don't have like, I don't think this is like destructive or anything like that. I know other people probably have a way more serious approach to it, but for me, I don't give a fuck. Like, it is strange. And uh, that's pretty much it. And I was like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try the drugs, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to kill myself anyway. You know, let me, let me, let me see what it's like. So I did it and then, you know, I started liking it i started getting happy you know and 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 i love it okay i actually looked up martina big and this is a white woman who oh my god thing and turned really dark yeah supposedly she she tans a lot more often than me and takes a lot more than i do i wish i could get that color okay so you started to inject yourself with this stuff and i guess it costs around 40 dollars a bottle yeah all right when you first started injecting yourself, I mean, did it hurt? Was there a burning or a pain or side effects? Well, when I first started taking it, I was very scared because I looked up the uh, all the different side effects that it could have, and I was really scared, so I gave myself anxiety, and uh, I thought that that was in a side effect. So when I first started taking it, I was feeling a little weird. My brain wasn't feeling right, but it was basically me giving myself anxiety because I was so scared of what if I die or, or what's going to happen? You know, is my dick going to fall off? I had no idea. And then as time progressed and I got used to it, that went away. <laughs> okay, because away. isn't this used for erectile dysfunction? When they first invented the injection, what? they were making it for erectile dysfunction disorder, but they found out that when people go in the sun, they just happen to get, you know, a lot darker, a lot faster. And I started- Okay, fuck this guy. Now he gets to, okay. He gets to have powerful boners now? What's up? He's taking boner pills? At first, it didn't do anything different with my um, libido. Is that the right word? Is yeah. Libido? And, um, but as I started taking more of the injections and going to higher dosages, now it's like it's doing what it was originally made for. It gives me a lot of random boners that, that are hard to get rid of. Okay, no, so I don't think originally be rated. I think he's an injection just like, was, was last uh, month, glancing over. But on as you kept doing like, it, now you have to do it every five days. Right, right. I st it st actually started being more than a month. It started off at like a month and a half a vial would last me. And I just keep upping my dose. And now it's at the point where it's five days. And I want to up it more, but I'm not sure if how the, how dangerous that is. People are already telling me that I'm taking high dosages. I need to be careful of my liver. I need to be careful of my blood brain barrier. So... And there's nobody out there to talk to, you know, to be like, wh what's the maximum you can take? Because I'm already taking past <laughs> the recommendation. Okay. Does this have to be prescribed by a doctor or you can just order it? You on can the just internet? buy it off of Amazon or a couple other different places on online. Okay. You didn't want to go see a doctor to, to work with a doctor on working, you know, seeing, I you know I testing your levels and stuff. I tried, I tried uh, going to uh, one of my, one of my primary care doctors and, um, I told them about it and they told me to stop taking it because that was back when I had anxiety for it. And I was like, look, can you give me something to uh, to stop with this anxiety? And they're like, no, I'm not going to give you anything to mask side effects of this. If you don't like it, stop taking it. And I was like, all right, well, can you at least, you know, <laughs> the doctor it? literally was like, no, it's good that you're anxious because you're not supposed to. <laughs> oh, no. Blood, check my liver, make sure everything is OK internally. They did do that. But I went back again and I when i wasn't one of the chat said this is really inspiring <laughs> dude live your dreams live your dreams live your dreams feeling well and they just kept telling me look stop taking it if you're not going to stop taking it we we suggest you go see a therapist and then i just stopped going to that doctor instead of going to the therapist the doctor was right dude please tell me this is a part three 
I mean, he should have fucking been. He should have just like gone so to the therapy. You said you'd rather live a short life and experience a lot than live a long life and not experience shit. Exactly, because what's life without experience? Wait, oh, there is a part three. Okay, so you start to inject yourself. And, you know, we'll go ahead and sh show a video of you in the beginning of the process. What up, y'all? Nuka Zeus here, representing that black power. You know what I'm saying? I've been taking the melanin. Mel 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 Stop it. No, no. No, no. Nuka Zeus here, representing that black power. You know what I'm Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome, dude. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? I've been taking the melanin, 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 melanin two tanning injections. That's right. The injections that I inject into myself as an experimental drug that supposedly makes your pigments work in overtime to produce more melanin in the skin when you're out in the sun. So it, today is day seven that I've been taking it. And as you could see, the skin. Oh, come on. D dude, this guy's doing it for clout, okay? I think he was like, if I don't get fucking attention, I'm going to, you know, video game myself. It wasn't the, if I don't, if I'm not perceived as black, I'm going to video game myself. It was more like, I need attention immediately, like pronto. The skin is very pale. You know, you also don't have the cornrows and, and everything else like that. And you start to shoot yourself up with this. And you actually, it's like a syringe that you have to inject into your vein. No, anywhere in your body, they 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 recommend fatty areas. Um, people do with their stomachs, but I have a thing. I, I'm scared to stick my stomach, so I tried my buttocks at first. But uh, I I it, I don't know. It, it it hurt when I when I when I jabbed my ass. So I found a spot in my leg where my leg connects to my hip, and I just inject. You skip Black History Month, and then you do this back there, and I don't feel it when it goes Sorry. in. Okay, so you start to inject yourself. And right away, you started to notice that your skin would get darker as you went out in the sun. It took uh, it took about a month. It took about a month, maybe uh, two. Looking back at some of my old pictures, I can see myself slowly getting darker. But you know, when you're doing it, when you're looking at yourself every day, you don't really notice progression. But uh, it takes a couple weeks to actually start seeing results. <laughs> Someone said, just claim you're Native American like a normal white guy. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Why do you have to go? I mean, he can't. He just wants to say the N word, I think. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Okay. Like, all right, I'm at the, the skin tone that I want. Uh, I'm not there. I can't get there. I don't know what to do. I, I don't know whether to increase my dosage or to go into the sun more. Um, I, I've gotten a little bit lighter than I was in the past because I stopped going into the sun. Um, I stopped going into the tanning beds every other day. I would go tanning beds every other day, and the days I didn't go in, I would go out into the sun for an hour and and lay there. I uh, cut back on that some, you know, because I... Bro, this is the one time where you're like, don't touch grass, maybe. You know what I mean? Bro, he has, like, liver updates. I think his liver is failing. I, I mean... I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I'm scared, you know what I'm saying? All that shit, all the UV rays and stuff, you know? So I don't know what to do. You know, I want to get darker, but what, what am I supposed to do? Well, there's a video on your YouTube channel. We'll go ahead and show it. And this is day 50, where you're extremely darker than when you started. Yeah. And at that point, it seems like you're happy and, you know, this is the effect that you wanted. Today is day 50. That's right. Half of 100 days I've been injected on myself and I am, as you can see, I am getting darker and I love it. You know what I'm saying? I, it's crazy how I get in the sun. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, I look like I'm 10 shades lighter than I am, but then I go into the shadows and in the shade and I look darker. You know what I'm saying? It's like, Yeah, I, I was very happy. I was very happy. I did look quite orange in that picture or that video. But that was because I was also taking bronzing lotions at the same I time. Really like I didn't know that bronzing lotions. I don't know. I think like he wants to be like darker. I don't fucking know. He just looks like some white guy doing blackface with the fuck. I mean, yeah, straight up. I've never, yeah, I've never not known what he is, a person is saying. Lotions turn you orangey. Okay. So day 50, now you essentially look like a black man to a certain degree. It is not.
What's the effect of people around you, your family, your, your sister, your friends, your coworkers? They, uh, they were all, you know, happy that I was happy. And um, there's really no just, there was no difference really. They were just happy that I was happy. And, um, you know, some of them, they were like, uh, you know, I knew you was, you was, you, uh, I knew you, I wouldn't put it past you to do something like this. And um, I have, I have some screenshots I could probably share with you. Um, I can't remember what some. Where he literally had to dye his hair and beard to look less white. Like he is so white that he's got a ginger beard and blonde hair. Okay. Like this is way too much work, dude. What are you doing? My homeboy said, but I asked one of my homeboys and, um, through text and he was, I was asking him, I was like, how do you, you know, how do you personally feel about this? And he's like, he's like, that's you, bro. That's your body. If you, it makes you happy, you know, all power to you and don't listen to what everybody else says. I was like, well, what do you think about people that are trying to say negative things about me taking the injections? He's like, pay them no mind. They ain't living your life. Okay. Well, then you took it a step further and you got some tattoos on your arms. No, I've had the tattoos for years. Okay, so people that keep saying difference between this and trans, I get why you're being so hard on him. He's not hurting anyone. Because I, I, I don't, first of all, I'm not saying he shouldn't exist. I think it's funny that he does. But I've already described the difference between this and, and being trans. So before taking these shots, you got those tattoos? Correct. Okay, can you show the, the first one and the second one? Well, technically, they're the same thing. You know, I, okay. you know, fuck whites. Fuck whites, black power. That's the same thing he says. Black power. That was the whole message behind it. You know, people say it's two tattoos, but I consider it one because it's continuation. Okay, this dude is definitely, this dude is definitely a threat to black people. Okay, straight up. This is, this is what happens when like, you know, deep racial wounds in this country go unexamined for so long. It doesn't obviously uh, create, just obviously create intergenerational trauma and like harm their, their existence and, and, you know, their material conditions. But also it breaks white people's brains in this way too. This is like when you're, this is the next level of like, you know how those white people sometimes will do the, probably the most sus person I've ever seen. Oh yeah. You know how like you see white people like they'll be like, oh my God, I'm going to, I'm going to put chains on myself and I'm going to wash black people's feet. Like they just, they're just over the top. And it's like, like you're not doing anything. You're actually being really fucking weird. You're still otherizing black people. And like not a single person thinks you're doing this for good, except for you personally. Okay. This is that version, but to the next level. You did find a tattoo artist to do it the first time. Right. And you got fuck whites and black power on your arms. That was uh, the last, that was, I was going to say, have something else tatted on, but it was the last five minutes that I changed what it was going to say. Originally, this was going to say kill whitey and black power. He's so proud of it. Like, that's not what black power is, bro. This is literally like, like you're, you're making it worse. You're giving races ammunition. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Like his understanding of black power is so fucking white. It's mind boggling. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. This is what I mean. This is, this is what they do. The, this type of shit. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Dude, don't do that. His comment on black Tinder. I've said that a bunch of times. We can't have nothing to ourselves. What? If your dating life was a person, who would that be? My question is, why are white people on BLK? That's my issue. What? The fuck is BLK? Oh, is it Black Tinder? <laughs> Bro was in the clan and then switched teams mid-game. White supremacist, but it's opposite day? <laughs> oh, this guy's awesome, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's fucking crazy. But uh, okay. I was at my uh, I was at my female friend's house, and um, it was a, a mutual homeboy of ours that did the tattoos. And literally right before we started, she was like, "I don't know about kill whitey. That's a little that's a little too much." She, why don't you just say something like, "Fuck fuck whites." So I was like, "I guess that still says the same thing." I was like, I "No, it doesn't." And also, you sh what? are you saying like what is he saying dude what? bro it's pretty funny that like people around him are just like trying to bring him back down to earth i guess he like i don't know all right cool we'll do that then so yeah well being a white man that says fuck whites on his arm you're kind of saying fuck yourself i've never considered myself white
I consider myself human being. And then when people told me you have to pick a side, you know, you're either you're not human. You have to be either, you know, something. If you're going to label me. Dude, yeah, that's only black and white people on the planet, by the way. And they're constantly warring. He thinks it's like a he thinks like a Dark Souls starting class, dude. He's like, yeah, I wanted to respect. <laughs> I was I was doing the strength build and then halfway through I gave up. I decided, you know, Dex build is all the way. I had to respec. <laughs> I love the idea of picking a side when it comes to race because it is mo it is probably the most like painfully Caucasian fucking take you can have. Dude, black people can't pick a side. <laughs> They're just black. You can't like switch it on and off. You know what I mean? <laughs> so the idea that you're like, I'm going to pick a side and I'm going to pick the side of black is just like, well, okay, there you go. <laughs> you're in this is an incredibly white thing to do. Put me in the right category. You know what I'm saying? I'm not white. I'm not in that category. I'm, I'm in the black category. Well, <laughs> this is what happens when you watch too much CRT, dude. Brother, they're teaching CRT in our schools. <laughs> <laughs> They're turning our kids black, brother. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I'm ready for his, as a black man, tweet the service. What do you mean? We've been looking at them already. This is one of them. There are a lot of them. This is another one. It's great. This is great in every way. When you start doing this, you're going to get a reaction, obviously. Uh, there's always been a thing in America with blackface where you have white people that paint their face black. You know, every Halloween, a bunch of people end up losing their jobs for, you know, Halloween costumes of blackface and so forth. But what you're doing is not blackface. You're actually, you know, changing your skin color chemically. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's black body. You know what I mean? Like, the amount of effort that he put into it is like, it, it's something beyond. He's just like, he's not just doing blackface. Like, he's working hard. I mean, it's also people are ignorant of what blackface is. Blackface is, you know, putting on makeup or paint with the sole intent to then mock and degrade black people. I yeah, I say, as I literally have a black power tattoo and a fuck white tattoo, and I think those two mean the same thing, you know, that's totally different. You are definitely not making a, a mockery of black people by adopting like some kind of broken fucking aav where you can't even do it right the 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 brothers from uh the the twins what the fuck are their what were their names like the channel five twins like those dudes are literally like i mean they grew up in a black neighborhood like the hoff twins they grew up in a black neighborhood like you can tell that the people around them are not uncomfortable by their presence like they are not you know they're they're not LARPing in the way that this dude is clearly LARPing. Bro turned on skill-based matchmaking to meet Rachel Dolezal. I'm not doing that. I'm being myself. I just happen to be darkening my skin at the same time of also being black, but from a lighter body. Fighting Chet Hanks is less offensive as a person, I think, than this person, probably. Oh my God, he hates white people. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. Before you started doing this, Rachel Dolezal was in the news, right? Yeah. When you saw Rachel Dolezal, who was a white woman who pretended to be black, uh, you know, she kind she of thought, styled That's her it. hair That's a my certain shit. type of way to make herself look mixed. She joined the NAACP and was fighting for, you know, black rights and so forth. When it was exposed that, that she was actually white and there was a the whole backlash, how did you feel about that? I, at first, I, I disliked her. I, I hated her, you know what I'm saying? I talked shit about her all the time and for, for quite a few years. But I had a chance to actually sit down and talk. Wait, he talked shit about her? What the fuck? How are you going to talk shit about Rachel Dolezal, a queen? I mean, that's just projection. Like, what? Oh, my God, dude. What is happening? You, she, he's worse than Rachel Dolezal. Like, he's actually so much worse than Rachel Dolezal. Like I said, at least Rachel Dolezal, like, worked hard. You know what I mean? Like, Rachel Dolezal literally was a part of the NAACP and shit. This guy was like, fuck it, I'll get black power tattooed on my body, and then that's it. Talk to her, and, um, you know, one-on-one, -on -one and, and, you know, hear her full story and everything, and... I understand, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I have no problem with her now, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she's trying to do something for black people, so what's wrong with that? 
You know what I'm saying? I, I see no problem with her trying to do I mean, she worked for double A's, you know, see, like she was doing things, you know what I'm saying? ACP. Good things for the community. Damn, so, he, he, you know, the double ACP, like that's how, that's how we call it. <laughs> Stop, dude. He just like he just made up a new way to say NAACP. <laughs> uh. So I really don't see any problem with her doing whatever she wants to do. You know, if she wants to be black, fine, let her be black. How did you end up sitting down with Rachel Dolezal? Uh, mutual, uh, a mutual friend of ours. What do you? What do you? Was um, like a guy that collects fucking white people that want to be black like Pokemon? What is this mutual friend of ours? How did you? Meet a guy that also happened to know Rachel Dolezal. I'm sorry. That's crazy. Okay. Or I guess the inverse of that is true. It'd be crazier if there wasn't a person that would be friends with uh, two of the same archetype. Yeah. <laughs> His friend is Justin Trudeau. Mutual friend of ours. You might know him as the premier. We call him, we call him Black Trudeau. Um, and I asked him, uh, you know, because he was saying that he talked to her and, you know, did an interview with her. And I was like, shit, I was like, do you think, you Not know, premier, I can ever, you know, prime minister, say something to her. And um, he was like, yeah. And then uh, that's how it started. And then we, you know, we text with each other. OK, yeah. I mean, I want to sit down with her. I want to pick her brain and, and kind of see where she's at these days. Uh, oh, because I mean, it no, is a very interesting kind of thing. It's like someone pertaining. He's about to. He's, he's dude. He's going to get Rachel Dole's on. He has to get Rachel Dole's on, on as well. They should come black, on together. But they're actually part of the NAACP so sort of a weird type of thing it's just it's just weird when people say pretending to be black because I don't I don't see it as pretending to be black we you know I can't really speak for her but I think she's very similar to me but I'm not pretending to be black I'm just me I just happen to you know what I'm saying it's just a bunch of coincidences what okay and <laughs> as you sort of Vlad doing incredible work uh, interviewing this this fine fellow. He just keeps saying, okay. Go along, go through this transformation. Uh, you know, you refer to white people as cave beasts. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a nice way to, um, you know, degrade the oppressor, you know, in a nice way, you know what I'm saying? Instead of, you know, I don't know, it's a, you know, it's a nice term to, you know, say fuck you, you know? At the streamer awards, you were the Latino Dolezal. Okay, dude, why? Because I was, I was looking fucking, I was looking like, I was looking flexican as fuck. Is that why? Okay. Uh, <laughs> when you said that you hate white people so much that you want to murder them, and in turn you want to kill yourself. No, because I'm not white. Okay. Nor is my family. We're human beings. Okay. Dude. <laughs> Yeah, he got the cheat code, dude. Oh no, my family's not white. They're they're human beings. Okay, I need more. I need more. I need so much more of this, dude. Come on. Oh, dude, here it is. Okay, that's part four. This is part seven. Okay, we gotta find part five. Oh, there it is. Part five. Part five. Part five. Oh fuck yes. Oh fuck yes. This is so good. Okay, there was something about shooting up a school or what? A mass murder about white people or something like that. Okay, so. A lot of people people think that there's self hate with me, and there is no self hate. I you know I don't hate myself. You know I hate white people. So, like I said, but when, when I first white. moved down to the South, I didn't know there was a difference between people. I thought we were all human. So my first, but I moved to a town that was very segregated, had nothing but white and black people. There was no. Bro, I think like what happened is someone told him he can't say the N word and he like lost his mind. It just broke him. He was like growing up and someone like beat his ass because he said the N word or something. And then after that, it was like, I thought we were just people. I thought we were just people. And then he just like kept saying that to himself. I thought we were just people. I thought we were just people. I thought we were just people. <laughs> and now it's just, this is his personality now. Okay. He's just lost his mind. Mexicans, no mixed people, no Chinese, no Indians, just white and black. And nobody fuck with each other. You know what I'm saying? So when I walked to the school, you know what I'm saying? All the blacks were on one side and all the whites were on the other. And I was confused. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where to sit. And well, the blacks. I wanted to be friends with everybody because I consider people human. You Is know it what I'm saying? All the blacks. Yeah. 
I mean, he also said kill whitey, which is like, I feel like that's an invention of, of white people that, that, you know, black people say that all the time. Blacks kill whitey. These are all like blacks rule. These are all like created by people that have never been around black people. So does he say the N word or what? What's going on? I mean, I think we all know, like we all want to know that that's, I know I want to know. Does he, does he say the N word? Is he allowed to say it? If Vlad doesn't ask him this question, like he is not doing a good job interviewing this person. Okay. Oh my God. It says Nuka Zeus on why he uses the N word. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I did not see. I did not see the fucking, I did not see the title, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't see, you know, difference in anything. But as time progressed, all the white people, they were giving me a lot of shit. They were like, why you keep hanging out with them, you know, and, you know, saying r racial slurs and shit like that, you know, and it just started. Racial slurs? Like what? Like something big. And they kept telling me, you know, th that, you know, they was going to hang me with my coons, that I was a nigga lover, that they was oh, going to, saying. you know, hang me if I come back to school, tie me up to a truck, drag me down a dirt road. They would jump me. They would beat me. And then like me going through this shit all the time and then watching all my people, you know what I'm saying? Go through it all the time. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I had enough of it. You know, I felt like what else was I supposed to do or what would anybody else in my position do? You know what I'm saying? I wanted to get rid of this evil. Dude, like so many different things, okay? So many different things before this. Like, I don't even believe this story, but there is like a lot that he could have done. Pretty much anything else, I think. Literally anything else would have been preferable to what this is, what what he ended up at. Just not that. Also, white races in the South Evil. using this, uh, the soft A where, when they're talking about him loving black people. That was, you know, being directed toward me and the rest of my people. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and strike back. And that was like, instead of like beating the racist people's asses or whatever, he decided to what? Like he decided to try to be black. What? The whole school shooting incident. Okay. Other details I'm not going to get into because I'm saving that for the documentary. But, um, okay. That's where all the hating for white people started the way that they treated me and all my people. And then as time progressed in life, you know, I see shit happening all the time, you know, on TV, and it just infuriates the fuck out of me. And it makes me hate white people even more and more as time goes by. Dude, this is literally someone with the most conservative brain you can have. What he's talking about is like, oh, the TV, I see it all the time and it makes me hate white people. Like, this dude is literally a cartoon, a conservative psyop. You know what I mean? Like a reactionary psyop. Nuka Zeus is actually what conservatives think are happening to white people when they, like liberals, when they watch TV. Brother, brother, this man, <laughs> he watched MSNBC one time. Look at him. <laughs> he hates white people now. He said he wanted to get... A kill whitey tattoo. Okay, now you used the N-word when you were describing, you know, a situation just now. Uh, do you use the N-word on a regular basis? I used to. When I first got locked up, um, and when I was in what? juvie at 13. This dude was in jail? Oh, he was in juvie. Okay, that's different. Okay, I was gonna say, there's no shot. He, he would, they would kill him, I think, if he was in, like, actual jail. Because, like, he's so fucked up, like... He can't join, depending on what kind of jail he's going to, what kind of prison he's going to, like, like he can't join anyone, you know what I mean? He can't join any of the black gangs, and he definitely can't join the, the white supremacist, like, Aryan nation or some shit. You know they're putting him, uh, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're putting him next to the pedophiles. Mexican Norteros kick it with the black people in prison. A lot of Mexicans say the N-word, too, given the environment they share. Yeah, but this guy is not, like, this dude is in a very different position. You know what I mean? Why are you hating on him? He might be a really nice person. I mean, I just, it's funny. I have to joke told about me, I'm like, sorry, dude. Yo, if you want to get respect, you got to be saying that word. Which uh, was weird, but like after that, it just, it was in my vocabulary all the time. But again, as I oldered, as I Asian got older, you know, I, I, I view the word differently and I pull back and I don't say it all the time like I used to. It just slips out. Or, you know, just every now and then when it's really needed to be said, you know, and it's like, the there's, there's two different ways. Cause okay, that was pretty cool, though. Like, I, I do, I do appreciate it when people like come up with new words and stuff. Like, that was pretty tight. I oldered. <laughs> I've never heard that before. You have to admit that's unique. But also, he's like he's saying tactical N word. You know what I mean? He uses it as it's needed. Knights of the Older Republic. Oh, that's great. Older, you know. 
I, I, I view the word differently and I pull back and I don't say it all the time like I used to. It just slips out or, you know, just every now and then when it's really needed to be said, you know, and it's like there's there's two different ways because there's two different kinds of people. There's the people that are like, you know, nobody should be saying that word. You know, we all need to stop saying that word. It's it, it has a bad past to it and, and, and all that. But then on the other side, it's like it's just a word. Everybody should be able to say it. You know, we're giving the word power by saying that it affects us a certain way. So it's like I'm stuck between these. Bro, it's literally he's literally doing like every white guy meme about black people. Like this is awesome. It's just it's great. This is the whitest you can get. Is like when you go so far white, you become this. Is the horseshoe theory of being white. If whiteness is determined, and by the way, what I'm talking about is true. Whiteness is determined by your proximity to blackness. Whiteness can only be defined by what it's not. Okay? Because it's an exclusionary concept. It's a concept based around purity. Right? And I've never met someone with a further proximity to blackness than this guy. Like literally the whitest, he was, he was so far white that this is what happened, okay? Like how, did he not accidentally like, I don't know, pick up a few things about the culture? Like I feel like I, growing up in Turkey and, and, and uh, watching fucking Aaron Magruder and, and uh, Dave Chappelle know more about black culture than he does without even ever being around a black person. You know what I mean? Like, he, he literally has not even accidentally picked up anything, okay? No shot has he ever been around black people. I just don't believe it. My partner just got clapped by one of your mods because of a joke, and they, my partner, are distraught because they miss being in chat. The chances are pretty high. And I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I, I pull myself back from saying it all. But one thing I would never do in my life if my balls mattered, you know what I'm saying? I would never say the hard R. That word makes me fucking go ape shit. Wow. It's principled. He is he has principles, dude. He, <laughs> he's a principled N-word user. <laughs> okay.